Good day everyone, this week we are going to First, classify different tools in industrial services. Second, identify examples of tools for each classification. Third, sort industrial art services tools according to their classification. Now let us have a short review first. I'll show you pictures of various tools, and your task is to categorize each one as either an analog tool or a digital tool. Number one, classify this picture. That's correct. The answer is indeed analog. Give yourself a round of applause. Number two, classify this picture. That's correct. The answer is indeed digital. Give yourself a round of applause. Number three, classify this picture. That's correct. The answer is indeed digital. Give yourself a round of applause. Number four, classify this picture. That's correct. The answer is indeed analog. Give yourself a round of applause. Number five, classify this picture. That's correct. The answer is indeed digital. Give yourself a round of applause. Let's play a guessing game. Here's how to play. I'll give you examples of broken objects or fixtures, and you try to guess which tool will be used to fix each one. Number one, what tools are you going to use if you're going to drive or pound this nail to fix this broken door? Very good, hammer is correct. Number two, what tool are you going to use if you're going to tighten the screw to fix this loose doorknob? Very good. Screwdriver is correct. Number three, what tool are you going to use if you're going to fix this clogged toilet? Very good. Plunger is correct. Now for classification of tools in industrial art services. We have first, carpentry tools. These are instruments and equipment specifically designed for woodworking and construction tasks, primarily related to shaping, cutting, joining, and finishing with materials. These tools are essential for carpenters and woodworkers to perform various tasks accurately and efficiently. Number one, claw hammer. This tool is used to break an object, drive a nail or spike into another, or mold the desired shape of the material. Number two, crosscut saw. They are used to cut across the grain of the wood. Number three, rip saw. They are used to cut along the grain of the wood. Number four, circular saw. A powered handheld tool is used to cut wood. Number five, hand drills. Hand drills make holes in some wood crafts and are helpful in outdoor projects. Number six, chisel. A cutting tool with sharpened edges at the end of metal blades are used for cutting or shaping wood grain of the wood. Number seven, measuring tape. It is a fundamental tool for accurately measuring various materials, primarily wood, lengths, distances and dimensions. Number eight, steel square. It is a 90 degree standard right angle tool, 90 degree angle, a miter square, 45 degree angle, a combined tri and miter square, combined square framing or steel square. Number nine, planer. A hand plane is a tool for shaping and refining wooden surfaces. It can also be operated as a powered tool. Number 10, wood lathe machine. A wood lathe is a machine used in woodworking to shape wood into various cylindrical forms, such as balusters. The second classification of tools in industrial service is the masonry tools. These are instruments and equipment specifically designed for working with materials such as bricks, stones, concrete blocks, and mortar in construction and masonry projects. These tools are essential for cutting, shaping, laying, and finishing materials and maintaining and repairing masonry structures. Number one, trowel. A handheld tool with a flat pointed blade is used for spreading and shaping mortar and scooping and applying other masonry materials. Number two, float. A hand tool used for smoothing and finishing freshly applied mortar or concrete. Number three, hawk tool. A hawk is a tool consisting of a flat square board with a handle underneath. It holds a small quantity of mortar or plaster while working. Number four, masonry hammer. 
also known as a brick hammer, has a chisel-shaped edge for splitting bricks and a flat face for striking or setting bricks and stones. Number 5. Masonry Saw A power tool equipped with a diamond-tipped blade for cutting bricks, blocks, or stones. Number 6. Masonry Drill A drill bit specifically designed for drilling holes in masonry materials such as bricks, blocks, or concrete. Number 7. Brick Joiner a handheld tool with a pointed or rounded edge shape and smoothing mortar joints between bricks or blocks. Number 8. Cold Chisel. A sharp edge for cutting bricks and shaping stone and masonry works. The third classification of tools in industrial art services are construction painting tools. These are essential for preparing surfaces, applying coatings, and achieving quality finishes in construction and painting projects. Number 1. Paint Brushes. These are handheld tools with bristles used for applying paint to surfaces. Number 2. Roller Frames These are handheld devices that hold paint roller covers and facilitate smooth and even paint application over large surfaces. Number 3. Paint Trays These are shallow containers used for holding paint during roller application. They typically feature ribbed sections to distribute the paint evenly on roller covers and raised edges to prevent spills. Number 4. Paint Scrapers these are handheld tools with sharp blades that remove old paint, dirt, and debris from surfaces before painting. Number 5. Roller Covers Also known as roller sleeves, they are cylindrical sleeves made of absorbent material such as synthetic fibers or sheepskin. The fourth classification of tools in industrial art services is metalworks tools. These are instruments and equipment specifically designed for shaping, cutting, joining, and finishing metal materials in various manufacturing, fabrication, and repair applications. These tools are essential for machining, welding, forging, and forming metal components to precise specifications. Number 1. Hacksaw. A handheld saw is a cutting tool with a fine-toothed blade for cutting metal rods, pipes, and sheets. Number 2. Metal shear. A cutting tool used for shearing or cutting sheet metal, plate, and bar stock. Number 3. Welding machine. A power tool is used to join metal pieces together by melting and fusing them with heat. Number 4. Grinding wheel. Rotating abrasive wheel grids, smoothing and finishing metal surfaces. Number 5. Drill press. A machine used for precision and accuracy to drill holes in metalwork pieces. Number 6. Cut-off machine. It is a power tool used to cut through metal pipes, tubes, and other metal objects using an abrasive wheel or cutting disc. Number 7. Chirping Hammer It is a handheld tool used in welding and metalworking to remove slag and unwanted materials from welded joints and metal surfaces. The fourth classification of tools in industrial art services are plumbing tools. These are instruments and equipment specifically designed for installing, repairing, and maintaining plumbing systems, including pipes, fittings, fixtures, and appliances. These tools are essential for various tasks such as cutting, joining, tightening, and testing plumbing components. Number 1. Pipe Wrench A heavy-duty wrench with serrated teeth is used to grip and turn pipes, fittings, and other plumbing components. Number 2. Pipe Vise A pipe vise is a specialized tool used in plumbing and pipe fitting to hold pipes securely in place during cutting, threading, and assembly operations. Number 3. Pipe Cutters these are handheld tools used for cutting pipes cleanly and accurately. They come in various types, including standard, tubing, and ratcheting cutters, each suited to different pipe materials and diameters. Number 4. Pipe Threader It is a tool used in plumbing and pipe fitting to create threads on the ends of pipes, allowing them to be joined together with fittings or other pipes. Number 5. Plunger It is a rubber suction cup attached to a handle clears clogged drains, toilets, and sinks by creating hydraulic pressure to dislodge blockages. The fifth classification of tools in industrial art services are tile-setting tools. These are instruments and equipment specifically designed for installing, aligning, cutting, and finishing ceramic, porcelain, or stone tiles during tiling projects. These tools are essential for achieving precise and professional-looking tile installations. Number 1. Tile Cutter A handheld tool used for cutting ceramic, porcelain, or stone tiles to size. Tile cutters come in various types, including manual, tile scoring tools, and tile nipper pliers. Number 2. Tile Saw 
A power tool with a diamond tip blade cuts tiles significantly larger or thicker than those that cannot be cut with a manual tile cutter. Tile saws come in various types, including tabletop tile saws, wet tile saws, and bridge tile saws. Number three, tile trowel. A handheld tool with a flat, notched blade spreads adhesive or mortar onto the substrate before laying tiles. Tile trowels come in various sizes and shapes, including square notch, V notch, and U notch trowels. Number four, tile leveling system. A system of clips and wedges ensures level and uniform tile installations. Tile leveling systems are designed to hold tiles in place and maintain consistent spacing between tiles during installation, preventing lippage and ensuring a flat surface. Number five, grout float. A handheld tool with a flat, rubber, or foam pad applies and smooths grout into the joints between tiles. Grout floats come in various sizes and shapes, including square-edged and rounded-edge floats. Good day, everyone. Welcome to day three of our TLE seven quarter four week four lesson. Today, we'll be continuing our exploration of industrial art services, focusing on the classification of tools. For electrical tools, these are instruments and equipment specifically designed for working with electrical systems, components, and wiring. These tools are essential for installing, maintaining, repairing, and troubleshooting electrical systems in residential, commercial, and industrial settings. Examples are Number 1. Wire Stripper A handheld tool removes insulation from electrical wires to expose the conductive metal underneath. It features cutting jaws or blades with various size notches for stripping wires of different gauges. Number 2. Multimeter or Voltomilliameter this, also known as a voltometer VOM, is a handheld device for measuring electrical parameters such as voltage, current, resistance, and continuity. Number 3. Wire Crimper These are tools for attaching terminals or connectors to the ends of electrical wires. Number 4. Voltage Tester it is a handheld tool for quickly and safely checking the presence of electrical voltage in wires, outlets, switches, and other electrical components. Number 5. Circuit Tester A circuit tester, continuity tester, or test light is a handheld tool for checking the continuity or integrity of electrical circuits. 4. Electronic Tools Electronic tools are devices or instruments that utilize electronic components to perform specific functions. They range from simple handheld devices to complex machinery and equipment used in various industries. Number 1. Soldering Iron It is a handheld tool used for soldering electronic components. Number 2. Soldering Stand a soldering stand is a tool used to hold a soldering iron when it's not in use. Number 3. Desoldering Tool They remove soldering material, often a metal alloy, from electronic components and circuit boards. Number 4. Breadboard Breadboards are essential for testing circuit designs, trying new ideas, and troubleshooting electronics projects. Number 5. Spectrum Analyzer it is used to measure frequency information on a signal. Number six, oscilloscope. They are used to measure the timing information around a signal. Number seven, logic analyzer. Captures and analyzes digital signals in electronic circuits. Number eight, signal generator. Produces precise electrical signals of different frequencies and waveforms for testing electronic devices. For automotive and small engine tools. These are specialized equipment for diagnosing, repairing, and maintaining vehicles, including cars, motorcycles, boats, and lawnmowers. These tools are essential for automotive technicians, mechanics, and hobbyists working on engines, transmissions, brakes, suspension systems, and other vehicle components. Number 1. Socket Wrenches They're used for loosening and tightening nuts and bolts of various sizes. Number 2. Spark Plug Socket 
They specifically designed sockets for removing and installing spark plugs in engine cylinders. Number three, wrenches. Includes combination wrenches, adjustable wrenches, and specialty wrenches for different applications. Number four, torque wrench. Used to apply a specific amount of torque to fasteners to ensure they are tightened to the correct specification. Number five, oil filter wrench. They are designed to remove and install oil filters on vehicles. It is either a chain, cap, strap, or jaw type. Number six, jack and jack stands. Essential for lifting and supporting vehicles safely during maintenance and repair work. Number seven, battery tester. Check the voltage and condition of vehicle batteries. Number eight, diagnostic scan tool. Used to scan for and diagnose problems in the vehicles on board.